What it do, YouTube? It's Coffee. Back at it, man. And as always, we got a lot of itch to get to. Some some heartbreak, life and death situations, some hip hop, even some sports in there, some viral videos. So we're just going to get right to it, man. And I need y'all to get right to them comments and let me know all your thoughts. Don't forget to hit the buttons for me, man. But kicking things off, R.I.P. Big Proof, a D12, man. Such a sad story, man. The way uh, Proof was killed is crazy. Um, recently, I did a blog. You know, Eminem D12 came up in a, in a topic, a little something. But uh, what I wanted to talk about right here, you see, this is coming from, you know, D12's page, R.I.P. Proof. They're pushing some new merch they got out, but they're actually on a tour right now. It's called the I Want to Thank Me Tour. And to all the, you know, cats out there, that listen to the music and everything i want to know if y'all fluck with d12 like if you like their music you know some cats i heard you know what i mean um because obviously when d12 came out there was a uh you know people from detroit already knew who they were you know but this was a different era where the internet wasn't what what it is now and you know a, a lot of the fans to the masses when eminem dropped the second album just heard D12 featured on that one track, uh, the Under the Influence track, and then saw them on the back of the album in the booklet, and they're like, wait, m has got a whole group, what's up with these cats, you know, and then, I, you know, their album came out and everything, they dropped two albums, uh, some years later, after Proof's death, there was a few mixtapes that dropped, the Return of the Dozen mixtapes and everything, they even went back and got another guy from Detroit, you know, who was already kind of in their collective and everything like that and put him on as an official D12 member. And I don't know, it seemed like they were going to try to bring more life to the group, but, uh, it, you know, it kind of faded away. And now we see them back on tour. And I'm just curious to know, like, uh, some cats I remember saying, like, oh, yo, them dudes is on some other ish. They be talking about some crazy stuff, like, because they kind of, you know, they had like a horrorcore element to their music that was uh, the style, right? A lot of people even forget the locks kind of came in the game as a horrorcore group when they were the warlocks like there was a lot of artists with with horrorcore elements to their music back in the day and everything like that but let me know if you flucked with d12 if you like their music and let me know what you guys think do you think like d12 like this tour is cool and everything but yo something i want to point out too is it don't seem like M, I don't believe Eminem is on the tour with them. And that's one of the questions I wanted to throw out there to all the fans. Is do y'all think Eminem kind of ished on D12 in a sense? Where at times, like, I, I remember back when Fifth got signed, you know, the, like there was even some reports that came out. I don't know if they were ever confirmed that there was some dudes in D12 that were kind of like, yo, M's putting us on the back burner, you know? So like, it never confirmed, but to the fans, do y'all think M kind of ished on him in a way? Like maybe more music should have came out or, you know, they uh, he, like M lost his focus when it came to the group. Or, you know, do, do, do y'all feel like, nah, M got on and came back and, and, and put them on. So he did what he did. You know, he kept his word or, or what? Let me know. I also want to know, would you be interested in more new D12 music or do you think that that, you know, the tour is cool, but hey, you know, that that chapter is closed. Comment below, you know what I mean? Because um, when these kind of topics have come up before, um, you know what I'm saying, on the gram or in YouTube videos when I talk about it, because back on the gram, back in the day, I used to post a lot on the gram and ask a lot of questions and, you know, have some interesting discussions with everyone out there. Uh, a lot of people would always refer to that one Eminem track, I think it's called Stepping Stones or something like that, where they, you know, were... Um, we're basically like, yo, M put it out there that when Proof, R.I.P. Proof, once again, when Proof died, that was it. You know, Eminem, like, he can't push forward with D12 or whatever, you know, like, it, it, it hurts his heart too much. Just let me know your thoughts all below. Real quick here, we got a wild viral video y'all see it playing. There's no audio in this, man, but the, the dog, the puppy is like, screaming this man 74 year old florida man took his dog out for a walk maybe he had the dog on a leash i don't know how it exactly went down we only see him 
fighting to save his dog's life, which he did, man. He went right in there. I mean, it's a it's a baby gator, but hell, there could have been bigger gators in there. You know what I mean? It didn't seem to matter. This guy was like, yo, I'm getting my puppy. You ain't about to take my dog, you evil gator, son of a bitch. And pride, his dog, like submerged underwater, got the gator out and pried his dog from the gator's mouth and, you know, saved it. And you see the dog runs away. Didn't seem to be uh, too fucked up, man. Happy ending. That's wild. Would you guys do the same for your dog? Anyone out there, have y'all ever had a situation where you were walking your dog and something wild like this happened or what? Let's talk about it. Uh, another quick viral video I wanted to run to y'all, man. We got um, uh, a blogger that I follow, you know what I mean, who, who, who does New York Yankees content, uh, baseball season back in effect comment everyone if you follow baseball who's your squad how are they doing have you been watching any games let's talk about it all but uh he happened to notice this flag and i wanted to ask y'all what, what, what what's up with this he said yo why the flag got 15 stars okay i know there's different variations of the american flag from different times like what was it 11 colonies or 13 colonies or something or no that's the stripes right but isn't there another one that has like the 11 stars or 13 stars in a circle or something like that. The, there's all those different flags. But uh, this individual said, yo, you seen this one? 15 stars. What's that about? Do you know? Leave it below. Yo, what up, Ma? I know I've been a little kid, you know what I mean? Long story short, basically, you know, um, just a small setback, you know what I mean, for just a comeback. Unfortunately, I made a lot of wrong decisions um, in my life. And, you know, things start to come, you know, catch up with you or whatever the case. So I just want y'all to know, uh, besides all that, I'm actually doing much better. Um, I've been getting well, you know. Um, I've been very much sober. Uh, you know what I mean? But anyway, I don't want to go specifically into details because I really want to, you know what I mean, bring y'all along my journey. So, you know, besides, you know, dropping some new music, of course, I'm also have a documentary uh, with my story or whatever the case. So... I can keep y'all in tune, catch y'all back up, because I know y'all been wondering and all that. Y'all know I'm mysterious, you know. I keep my personal problems to myself. But now it's time to, you know, expand that and express that to y'all, so. So, um, basically to say, like, this is going to be one of M.A. Summers. This is going to be one of those M.A. Summers, I promise you. I mean, so, you know what I mean? Stay in tune. I mean, bear with me too, man, because like, I know, like, I know it'd be me, it'd be me, my fault. I love y'all, you know, but things happen, unfortunately, but I got y'all back, man. I'm still here. I ain't going nowhere, so. All right, so y'all heard that, man. That's rapper Young M.A. And real quick, guys, I hope y'all can't hear this. I got these bastards outside my crib right now. I swear they always come around at the worst times with their leaf blowers. They, like... Sometimes they come at 6 a.m. at the ass crack of dawn, but it's like, yo, we don't even have grass here. What the fuck are y'all blowing around? Come on, get out of here with that ish, man. I swear these dudes just come around, disturb everyone with the damn blowers for an hour or two and, uh, and burn it up. That's a, a great contract they got there, right? Easy work. I don't know. But getting back to this young M.A., you heard her, um, you know, uh, speaking out uh, not that long ago. There was a video that went viral and everyone was losing it, man. And I actually shared it on my other channel, man. We got to get that channel back active. You know what I'm saying? The algorithm gods really itched on me over there um, in a different way. Not the way I'm getting itched on on this platform. That's a whole nother story. But um, I, yeah, I did a video on it over there and I was like, yo, why is everyone bugging about M.A.? It was the video when she was getting her hair cut. And um, at first, I thought they were saying she got a bad haircut. I said, yo, that looked fresh and fly. That looked clean, you know. But um, no, it was that her eyes were all yellowed, you know. And a lot of people were like, young M.A. got that cirrhosis. Um, I didn't even notice it at first. But uh, it's been a big discussion as, you know, uh, word has been out there a lot that young M.A. likes to get her drink on, among other things. But um, I don't know. The, the, the discussions and, you know, this coming up in different uh, news articles and ish like that in the blogosphere, uh, Young M.A., it was enough to make Young M.A. say, yo, I got to address the people. And you heard her. She says she's been sober. 
um, y'all believe her? Comment. It. Let me know. And that um, she's doing okay because the world was like, yo, Young M.A.'s on her. She's going to be on her deathbed. You know what I mean? Sign her up for hospice type vibes. That's, that's you know, y'all know how it goes in the blogosphere. But she says she's sober. Um, she's got a documentary on the way. And it's going to be a comeback this summer. This is going to be the summer of M.A. on the way. What do y'all think? And then to close it on out, guys, we got two more videos I had to run for y'all, man. Um, again, guys, if you're new to this, to this platform, subscribe. You know, we drop so much great content over here. Like I said, we talk about a lot. Music, news, sports, current events, life, and much more is the way that I like to lay it out. You know, uh, how we do it over here. But um, so sub up. You know what I mean? Don't want to miss that content. Help your guy coffee out and everything. Help me break through in this algorithm and all that. Um, but I need y'all to comment. Like always, that's the basis of this channel is to just tap in with y'all. You know what I mean? That's that's what we do to coffee. Talk it up. I need y'all engagement. But um, a lot of, you know, football it's the off season and everything like that. Um, I started this season. Now, here we go again with the blowers. I don't know if y'all can hear it. These bastards get away from my window. But, um, you know, I, I started the season with the offseason blues. My bills exiting the playoffs in a heartbreaking way. Um, so I, I was tuned all the way out, but not really following the, the offseason news cycle. But now I've been back keyed in on things going on. And we just did a video the other day. Uh, OBJ signing with the Ravens as you know they're going through their situation with Lamar damn y'all I actually had to get up and, and move away hope I hope I hope the, the background noise ain't too much on this one y'all but yeah um, they signed OBJ uh, a lot of people myself included are wondering if that's gonna play a factor at all or help out with uh the ongoing back and forth between Lamar Jackson and the squad and the whole franchise tag thing and all that but um, I don't know. I just came with all that being said, I came across this viral video um, clip here where someone was talking about Lamar versus Michael Vick, you know, mobile running quarterbacks. Who did it better? Who you got? I want to know below. Um, watch these two videos. What you think about about them? Who you got? But, um, of course, as a Bills fan, man, I got to throw my guy josh allen's name in the mix man definitely a running quarterback a lot of people are like oh yo don't have him run. I, yo i say you gotta let josh cook you gotta let him run i mean dude has an amazing cannon for an arm but if that threat of running ain't there it, you know it can make the defenses change the way they're, they're they're moving and strategizing and it's just such a big wrinkle to his game you got to let him do it but another name i want to throw out there who is an outstanding mobile quarterback he also played for my bills uh, but he came into the league with the ravens who we were just talking about is tyrod taylor man that dude was super elusive you know i wonder if we'll ever see tyrod playing again i swear I spoke about it in numerous football videos I've done made on this channel that after Buffalo, our um, Tyrod just had a lot of uh, bad luck getting his lung punctured and um, was it with the Chargers um, getting hurt with the Browns last year? Was he with the Giants? He was supposed to play. Got hurt. I don't know. It's like everywhere he's been since Buffalo keeps getting hurt, man. Houston too put up some numbers in Houston and got hurt. I don't know. It is what it is. But um, Lamar versus Michael running the ball. Let's talk about it. And that is going to do it for this video. Once again, guys, I can't wait to kick it with y'all in the comments. I love y'all. Thanks for the support. Stay tuned. Much more coming. Have a great day, guys. Stay blessed. Stay fluckery free. I almost said flee. Stay fluckery free. And I'm gone.